I think that bio art is such an intrinsic part of our cultural imagination. When one works with bio art, you already tap into that intensity of fascination. Even just to speak about any aspect of biological or genetic work elicits questions about who we are, how we imagine our lives to be, and the future of humanity as we know it. So these are really big things already that you can tap right into. I like to make paintings and video, uh, the video live action and 3D. For several years now, I've been doing work around industrial labor and factory production and meat as a kind of national cultural resource. China has already arrived at its resource ceiling in terms of meat production, that they literally can't grow any more feed. So what does a company do then? Or what does a nation do? So a lot of my work, regardless of medium, it always starts with these very simple problems. I'm particularly intrigued with one area of this meat production, which is synthetic meat. It is really actually meat, and it's a stem cell technology. If you have somebody always checking the cells, it's extremely easy to then use the cells as a carrier for secret messages. With Pink Slime Caesar Shift, I started working on the prospectus. It's a longer video combining live action and 3D animation. Not only kind of is loosely based on four chapters and four ways of kind of introducing uh, synthetic DNA material into cow cells, it also goes into various aspects poetically related to it about the life of workers. Then I started in on chapter one of four to create a biological sample in which there will be a GFP marker and following the code, the DNA code for this GFP marker, then there's going to be all this material afterwards. And that actually is DNA that very easily codes back into pinyin and the pinyin itself is legal code then those cells exist, the synthetic material exists. After a little bit more lab work, we're going to insert them into these rings that I just got manufactured in all sorts of different ways. And then the brass rings themselves will have a little chamber, a closed chamber into which we'll insert the DNA content. And that will be a lovely sculptural addition that will be exhibited alongside the video. My name is Tommy Martinez. I'm the Director of Technology at Pioneer Works, and we're a nonprofit cultural center. Jen brought in three small rings, which we then 3D scanned. We printed those out in a plastic resin so that she was able to take it to a foundry and have them cast and turn into metal. It's really special when you're working with an artist who actually understands why they're using that specific technology. One of the most important things when working with this technology is understanding why it's important and why it affects real people every day. How can bio art reflect society? Even though all the discoveries being made and to be made in relationship to biotech, they're only in their kind of infant stage. I think the fascination that we have across the board with the technology and with tinkering with our intrinsic makeup is so profound. For myself, what's particularly interesting is to note the limitations of the science. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.